likely be the final play before the half ends. Looking to go up top again on first down. And it's out of bounds incomplete. Failing to complete that one. So second down here. Ivory lined up in the backfield. The Colts with two extra defensive backs in the dime. Down on the field. And then there's a great catch. We're headed to the half here in a tight, low-scoring defensive battle. I'm sure both teams will be making adjustments offensively coming out of the half. Larry Ridley's coming up next. Thanks, Jim, and welcome to the EA Sports Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. The Colts want to continue to give their fans something to cheer about in the second half. The Jets, on the other hand, want to quiet this crowd and turn things around. All right, let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. Colts fell late in the first. Gore is going to stay up the middle. He'd make it count, running for 22 yards before being tackled. However, they only come away with a field goal on the drive. Jets have it early in the second. Smith's able to get open here, and this five-play drive goes for a touchdown. The lead grows to four. Colts line up at the eight. Haney's got the completion out of the gun, and he capped off the 11-play drive with a TD. That puts them up by a field goal. And with that, we'll wrap up our halftime report and head back out now to Lucas Oil Stadium for the start of the second half. All right, Larry, thank you for all of those updates. And now the teams are coming back onto the field, and we're about to get the second half started. The Jets' offense trots out onto the field, looking to get into the end zone and see if they can turn the tide in this one, partner. Well, the fact that they are losing this game so far, the sense of urgency is there on the offensive side. You know, you have many plays in that playbook. I think they need to try a few different ones here in the second half. Davis is going to make the tackle. Chris Ivory lined up in the backfield. Three, 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 three. They're going back up top. Ivory with the catch. And it's DeQuell Jackson who makes the tackle. They bring in the extra tight end. Second down and seven. Reaches up and grabs it. The Jets just picked up a big first down that time, Jim. When you're down in the second half, every first down is crucial. Nice job that time by the offense. After the long game, let's see what they do here. The defender able to knock it away. Got to give the defense a lot of... A lot of credit there, don't you, Jim? They are all over the receivers, all over the field, nowhere to throw it, and it just results in an incompletion. Now he's going to change the play and look out. I think he's going to go down the field with the football. Should have had it. Tough situation you found yourself in. Third long, you're losing the football game. There are not many plays here that are going to pick up the first down. So be careful here. Don't be too aggressive. If you're too aggressive, you will make a mistake. Ivory lined up in the backfield. The Jets snap it at the 26. Jeremy Curley with the catch. Well, it's third and long. Protect against the long pass. Make the quarterback throw it short. And they just come up there and make the tackle. The Jets will use a timeout here early in the second half. That timeout might be very useful for the offense. They're now ready to go. A field goal to tie the game. The kick is good. 
Well, when you get points, it's never a bad thing. That is for sure. Good job by the field goal kicker that time. Nice job by the offense moving the football down the field. That's a touchback. The ball will be spotted at the 20. The Jets defense comes onto the field after surrendering a touchdown on the last drive. Well, they're hoping for better results. No question about that, Jet. They got to come out. They got to hustle. There was not enough hustle last time. And the number one key for all defensive teams is play hard. Way to call them out there, partner. Hey, that's what I do like for them. It's always good when your quarterback is able to deceive the defense with good play action fakes. That's what did it that time. Look at the quarterback. Nice fake. Defense reacts to the run, and now you throw it over the top for the easy completion. And they're all over him for the sack. Well, that's the quarterback's fault. My gosh. The safety, that's who he is supposed to look at at all times. When he's under center and when he drops back, he takes his eyes off of him. And what happens? Well, he gets sacked. Gore is going to take the handoff now. The Colts running back that time, he makes a bad decision. You can't be looking to make every play a big play when you're running the football. Look for a few yards, take advantage of that. He tries for the big play. What happens? He gets tackled for a loss. He robs him of the interception. He turns around and defends the pass. Offside defense. Defense was trying to guess the snap count, and it cost them there. Third down after the penalty. The Colts have to get to the 49 for a first. Good job by the defensive line shifting all down inside. I think they're expecting a run up the middle. One-handed catch. Fleener's tackle down at the 32. Fleener's going back to the huddle. And he's telling everybody, look up at the Jumbotron. Let's watch a replay of me making that spectacular catch. the fourth thus far defenses have taken center stage in this one we'll be back after this the fourth quarter is about to get underway and we've got a tie game this one's been fun to call partner yeah it sure has it, it has been fun Jim I love low scoring uh, games where there's a lot of pressure on the calls pressure on the players we've seen that and it's going to be a fun finish. Time becoming a factor in this game. The final quarter underway now with this snap. Two hands on the football and has the catch. After that grab, it's now second down and two. Tie game here in the late going, and the defense needs to make a stop. They cannot give up the big play right now. Hand off, out of the eye formation. Gore's trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. Gore is in the backfield. The Colts from the 22. Gore. This offense can't be stopped on third down, no matter the distance. Moore is a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. First down at the 21. Kobe Fleener hauls it in. Fleener's brought down after picking up 11 on this play. That's his fifth catch of the day. There has been good pass protection for the quarterback all day long. He has not been sacked much, and he throws it there and gets another completion.
Just two minutes left of this one. We're back now for the end of the fourth quarter. Let's go. First and goal from the 10. Gets the handle here. Away from the ball, there's a flag down on the field. The defense will take the penalty. Coming to the line at the 17-yard line. Let's go. No margin for error from just outside the goal line. Gores marked down after a gain of four. He's now averaging six yards a carry on the day. Gores never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. Look at the signals. The D-line is all shifting down inside. They're expecting a run right up the middle. Game's about three. When you get third and goal, a lot of times it just comes down to who's willing to fight the hardest. We'll find out here in a second. Let's go. Third and goal from the 10. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. What a job by the defense down on the goal line. They were playing run all the way. It was a run. They got the penetration, and they tackled the runner for a loss. They'll bring out the kicking team. A field goal try to take the lead here in the fourth quarter. No doubt about it. Put three on the board. They were thinking touchdown that entire drive, but in the end, they have to go field goal. They convert here in the closing stages. Well, I'm sure they would have loved to kick that field goal as time expired, but that's not the case. Good job of moving the football down the field, getting that field goal to put them ahead, and now the defense, go out there and do your job. Well, the time has come for this offense to either come through in the clutch or face the possibility of walking out of here with the loss. This drive almost certainly will decide the game. I thought you were going to say it's time to put up or shut up. It is. Yeah, it is. So, well, I believe they're going to put up. They got talent along the offensive line, a good quarterback, and maybe the best wide receiver in football. And we're going to shut up and watch. Finley's got the catch and the first. The Jets call a timeout and are left now with only one. The Jets head to the line. They've got one timeout left in the game. Now on first down, every snap crucial the rest of the way. Look out, they're changing the play to take advantage of something they see on the defensive side. And now on first down, they'll go back to the air. The grab is made by Ivory. Ducks out of bounds. The Jets would like to get to the 33-yard line to give their kicker a realistic chance. The Jets get set to snap the football. Only one timeout remaining here in the fourth. And Ivory's lined up in a single back formation. Staying with the passing game on first down. They're going to get him here for a sack. They immediately call for a timeout. Every play is huge now. Second down on the way. Chris Ivory lined up in the backfield. The Jets snap it at the 41. The ball is charged loose. That incompletion by the quarterback, hey, I give the quarterback no fault. That was just tremendous coverage by the secondary player. He's in position and able to uh, make the football be incomplete. The Jets were heartbroken last week, and they've set themselves up for another repeat feeling here today. Jim, this is what the NFL is all about. There are a lot of tight games, so when you get in situations like this, you can't crack under the pressure. The Jets' last snap. Let's see what they can do here. Back at the line. They're going for it on fourth. 
The Jets snap it at the 41. Ryan Fitzpatrick throws the deep pass. And it's going to fall incomplete. Their comeback effort comes up short. I know.